We're here to address difficult bunker play, more advanced bunker play. I have a student here to help me. His name is Drew. Drew is a scratch player and he's very competent at bunker shots. So he's going to help us learn how to hit these shots. They're more challenging. This is difficult. And this one of the hardest shots in golf, I feel like, is when you've got a downhill lie and you're in the sand. You've got a lot of sand to carry. You've got some green to work with, but bottom line is you're on a downhill lie. It's really easy to back up and blade the golf ball. All right, so Drew, what do you do when you've got a shot like this? How do you handle this shot? Well, I'd start by getting dug in a little bit. You know, it'll help me get at that ball. I'm gonna open the club face a little bit more uh, to put a little extra loft on it to take some of the down slope out. And I'm gonna swing a little bit more aggressively at this one. I'll have a little bit more weight forward. All right, so let's go hit the shot. Like I said, Drew's a very good player, very accomplished. But here's the things that I noticed there. So what I noticed about that shot is like Drew said, he gets the club face a little more open. Why did he do that? He did that because he's on a downhill lie, which takes loft away. So he negated that by adding a little more loft to the face. So what he simply did is he opened the club face a little bit more. And what club did you start with on that, Drew? Uh, I hit a 60. He started with a 60. So by the time he opened it, he probably had 70 degrees of loft, all right? Then the next thing he did, he dug in a little bit and he said, I put a little more weight on my left side. Now, how do you do that? That's what's really important. If you're on a downhill lie and the slope is going downhill, it's important that you take your lead shoulder. This will help you in the grass, by the way. Take your lead shoulder and make it a little bit lower. So weight to the left, but never with the lower body, right? You want to make sure that your weight's to the left because your left shoulder, your lead shoulder is going down. Then the key to that shot, why he made such great contact, and if you look at the divot, the divot was much more in front of the golf ball than behind the golf ball. So that shows the club was descending through impact. Well, the key to that is that when he got set for that shot, he kept that left shoulder down at a dress, but as he swung his arms up, he didn't pivot. If he pivoted, that left shoulder would have come back up, but he kept his body very centered, very quiet, and he used his arms to create his energy. So he didn't let that left shoulder move that off that initial place. So the left shoulder stays pretty still. The arms do the main work, majority of work. Then he swung down. That left shoulder stayed low through impact. I see so many people get on a downhill lie and they think instinctively, especially when there's a lip, they gotta help the ball up. And so ultimately they work backwards to help scoop the ball. But what happens is the club bottoms out early, they blade the shot. Drew committed, he allowed the loft of the golf club to lift the golf ball. He stayed low, swung it up with his arms stayed down, allowed the club to get into the sand, stayed level and finished on his left side. Can you do another one for us, Drew? Can you do it better than that? That's the question. I mean, you got about a three footer there. I'm gonna put a little pressure on you here, right? So he's gonna get that left shoulder. You can see he's getting that left shoulder nice and low. He's committed to staying on his left side. The shaft is straight. The face is open. Go for it, Drew. Common mistake, you know, that is not uncommon where people leave it short. What happened there? Drew was in a good position. He was on a downhill lie, but he did not have enough speed, right? So Drew, you didn't have enough speed as you came down. You started working a little bit backward. You caught the sand a little too early. Again, it's tough because you're on a downhill lie. He's got to stay a little more committed. So let's stay down on this one to that left side. Really finish low and left. You know, what I would notice, Drew, on that one is when you finish, you finish with your body a little bit arced back. Your good one that you hit you finished and your left bo or your body stayed on the left side and it finished more forward. It's kind of like that bucket of water I used earlier in the video series, right? So make sure you stay low and left and finish low, kind of chasing the slope on this one instead of trying to help the ball up. Maybe move the ball a little more up in your stance so your chest can get left good. Now stay committed to that. And there we go, beautiful shot. How happy are we with that, Drew? Very. Right? Well, we love when we got a six foot putt, five foot putt off a lie like this. That is advanced bunker play at its best. Well done, right? Let's go ahead and let's hit some longer bunker shots now. From the same situation, tough shot. We got a 20 yard shot there. Now we're going to make it even tougher on you. Can you handle it, Drew? I can. Okay. Let's do it. So now we're going to go to this blue flag, which is about 30 yards, right? We've got a lot more sand and carry here. So what would you do in this situation, Drew? Well, a lot of times I'll get stuck debating whether I should hit, you know, a, a bigger swing with the 60 and, you know, how much space I have to work with. And, 
you know, sometimes I get stuck whether I want to do that or make the same swing with the, the 55. Great time for a little talk about the mental approach. Commitment. You'll never be good if you don't have, if you're not committed to the shots you're going to hit. So sometimes when I'm working with a player, right away when I hear that feedback, I can hear the indecision. What should I do? Not sure. Do I swing, take my 60 and hit it, swing it harder, make, make it go farther, use more speed, or do I go to more club? I would say, Drew, you'd be a lot better off going ahead and going to your sand wedge. We'll let the club do more of the work for you. But most important, whether or not you decided I'm going to swing the 60 harder, or now I'm gonna take the 55 and maintain more of the same speed, commit to what your decision is, right? So once you decide I'm gonna do the shot, commit to it and absolutely do it, pull it off. But it will be easier in this situation if you use your 55 degree wedge. Now, you don't have to do a lot more than that. We do need to carry the ball further. So here's the thing about speed. Where does speed come from in the bunker? Speed comes from your arms and it comes from how high the club can get. So often I see people, they short the speed you know, because their hands and arms don't get high enough and then they need to use their legs. And whenever your hands and arms don't get high enough, you're in a position where you have to use your legs. But if you got your hands and arms up higher, you'll create more organic speed by having your arms swing down versus your legs drive. So that's the second adjustment that I wanna make sure you make to carry the ball a little bit further. I wanna see you get the same setup that we talked about earlier, left shoulder low, we're on a downhill lie, face open, shaft back, keep the, left, the weight left, let the arms get up higher so now you don't need the speed from your lower body now you've got speed so you can swing down and again finish low and left so let's take that 55 set up basically the same way let's make the adjustment to get your hands up higher for more speed but make sure you finish low weight committed to the left side again not too much weight left at address we're going to move into that so get those hands up Wow, was that tremendous. Carried it out there. Look at this shot. Drew, give me five on that, man. Well done. That, that was awesome. He's got a tap in. How's that for a difficult, advanced, long bunker shot off a downhill lie? A lot of room to carry, or a lot of sand to carry, right? And you pulled it off tremendously. So what did he do there? He did great. Kept his left shoulder down, got his hands up high, stayed committed to that left side, swung down, ball came out, Big thing he did not do was back up and help the ball. He trusted the golf club to do the job. That was a phenomenal shot, Drew, right? I'm not even gonna ask you to do that again, but I do want you to do that when you go play in the mid-amp, okay? Could you do that for Sounds me? Good. All right, well done, that was tremendous.